The history of gays and lesbians in America has been largely hidden. Love expressed in secret, lives too often lived in the shadows. For generations, to be gay meant being forsaken by family, fired by employers, even risking arrest or forced hospitalization. Gay life and gay love, however, found a way. In cities across the country, gay people created their own families of friends and lovers, their own society and culture which thrived. Gays have rights now, right? DOMA has been repealed. Don't ask, don't tell has been repealed. They can even marry in every state in the United States. So who says that gays don't have rights? Sure, maybe LGBT people do have rights. But who says that people will respect them? That people won't try to legalize torturous conversion therapy? Or continue to make discrimination by sexual orientation legal in the workforce? Or commit acts of terror against them? Today marks the most deadly shooting in American history. Gunman, a U.S. citizen, legally purchased a weapon of war and turned it upon members of the LGBT community on Latin night at a nightclub in Orlando, Florida. 49 dead. 53 wounded. The truth is that even when a group has rights, there's no guarantee they will be respected. They have to be enforced. Meet Chad Griffin. He's been the president of the Human Rights Campaign since 2012, an organization based out of Washington, D.C., founded in 1980, whose mission statement is, by inspiring and engaging individuals and communities, HRC strives to end discrimination against LGBTQ people and realize a world that achieves fundamental fairness and equality for all. In his four years as president of the HRC, Griffin has overseen a campaign to oppose Indiana Governor Mike Pence's Religious Freedom Restoration Act which would allow Indiana business owners to refuse service to LGBTQ persons, gaining the signatures of 130 companies in protest, as well as campaigns in support of rights for LGBTQ people in the United States and across the world. All of Griffin's actions in support of equality directly relate to Article 2 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states that everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration, without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth or other status, with a focus on the mention of sex. As a resident of the state of Connecticut, I have been fortunate enough to see the HRC's message of equality for LGBTQ people accepted and embraced in my community. However, there is still work to be done. Despite the successful work of the HRC in many American states, in the 2015 Supreme Court ruling legalizing gay marriage, there are still numerous states where things like conversion therapy and discrimination in the workplace are perfectly legal. Other important issues remain on the front burner. We've got to create fair and equitable workplaces. We've got to ensure equal access to health care. We've got to amplify the voices of fair-minded people of faith. Chad Griffin shows us that with the power of the people, you can truly make a change in the way things are conducted for the better bring civil rights to all.